Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Carrie. Today I'm gonna to be doing my wrap up from April 17th through April 30th. Before I get started, I do want to give you guys a couple of updates. First, I mentioned that there was gonna be a book giveaway Oh, a couple weeks ago and I just want you to know I absolutely am still planning on doing that giveaway it is going to be soon but I do want to make sure that it is safe for me to go to the post office to drop it off so I am gonna wait just a little bit until uh, it is a little bit safer out there and then I'm planning on doing that giveaway so be on the lookout for it it should be coming in the next month or two uh, like I said, I'm just kind of waiting on it to be safe enough that there's not a fear of me going out and getting sick by going to the post office. So uh, there's that out of the way. And also, um, I just found out like yesterday that Book Bonanza is officially canceled for this year. I am incredibly sad, but I completely understand why it was canceled. Uh, so um, my ticket isn't going to be refunded, but it is transferable to 2021 and a lot of the authors that were already planning on being there, I think there's like 120 authors already so far who have already committed to going to 2021. I'm really sad that I'm not going to be able to bring a book signing to you and let you guys see that firsthand. Obviously, it's going to be my first year going, so I'm really excited about being able to do that, but we're just going to have to hold off for one more year, and in 2021, there will be an amazing book signing, and we'll all be able to get together and go, and I'm super excited about it. So... With that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump in to my wrap up portion. So if you watched my wrap up from April 1st through the April 17th, you know that I was obsessed with the Lux series and I was planning on reading them all back to back and not stopping until I finished them. Well, that same day, I got into a reading slump for five days and that is unheard of for me. I, um, I typically read about a book a day. So I was really kind of un confused as to why I wasn't reading and I decided that as much as I wanted to read the Lux series, it was taking me like three days to get through the the physical books of them. I have all of the actual paperbacks and for some reason I read a lot slower on paperbacks than I do ebooks or audiobooks and it just kind of put me in a reading slump. So I decided to set that aside. I'm on Opal still, I'm 25% of the way through it, but I, I put that book aside for a little bit and I went ahead and decided to read a little bit more of my smutty books because after five days of not reading anything, like I just needed to read something. And uh, so I picked up a book. I'm actually really surprised because the first book by this author, I completely DNF'd after like a chapter. I hated it. I like despised this book. And so I'm really glad that I gave this author another shot. That is going to be Whiskey Neat by Lanny Lynn Val. This is kind of an insta-love story. It does have, um, it's a motorcycle romance, but it's not really... It's a motorcycle club, but they're not real prominent on the motorcycle club. They had really, really cute meet cute. It is like a sweet girl next door type and um, who just, she just happens to own a sex toy store. And she ends up having this guy come in and he's obviously in a motorcycle club. He has, you know, the vest, the tattoos, and he, she basically describes this guy as Charlie Hoonan and his mother as Paula Dean. So it really kind of helped my mind like figure out who these characters were supposed to be because she like so accurately described who they were supposed to be. So I like that part of it. It was interesting, it was cute, it was uh, very low drama, very low angst. It did have some suspense to it because it was a motorcycle club, there was some people going after them, there was kind of a retaliation plot line. It was good. It I gave it four stars. It wasn't like the best thing ever, but it was a really short audiobook that kind of helped put me back in the mood for reading. So I really did enjoy it. The next book that I picked up is Hot Heads. This is by Damon Swade. So I gave the book itself four and a half stars. I really enjoyed it. I listened to it on audiobook. In fact, I liked it so much that I immediately went and purchased it on Half Price Books. It still hasn't gotten here. I've been waiting for like over two weeks. So I'm going to first off say that 
I had no idea there was any kind of controversy with this author whenever I read and purchased this book. Um, I believe, I, I didn't really look into it that far, but I think he said some racist comments or something. I'm, I'm really not sure. I just heard a couple of booktubers talking about this author and that there was some controversy surrounding him and that they weren't going to support his books. I had no idea whenever I read this, so I just want to put that out there first. The book itself I do want to talk about. I gave it four and a half stars. It's about Dante and Griff, and they are both firefighters. They've been best friends since they were kids. They went through 9-11. It's now 10 years later, and one of them after 9-11 had started to develop feelings for his best friend that went more than just like brother, and he is he's trying to keep it to himself but he is kind of watching his best friend and he's kind of this ladies man player and he's upset with himself for f having feelings and it is definitely a gay for you storyline it's very unrealistic but if you are into just like if you're a straight woman who's just into like the male male romance kink then definitely read this maybe but the author I don't know I don't know if I want to support this author because I've heard bad things I don't really know though I haven't really looked it up as to what was done so I don't know if I can support the author itself I will say that the book was really really hot I enjoyed it these two firefighters um the one that is in love with his best friend like his best friend comes to him basically and says you know hey I'm really strapped for cash I'm gonna lose my home and I've got this opportunity to do some porn where I just jack off and I get like a lot of money. And he ends up bringing his friend into it and they do like this gay porn together. And neither one of them, I guess both of them have feelings for each other, but neither one of them like admit it. And they do all of this stuff together and it's, it's super unrealistic, but it's just like, it's so hot. Like it's just like straight like reading porn. But once again, this author has got some really bad things uh, against him and I don't really know. I'm sorry, I wish I could give you more information. I didn't look it up, I probably should have. I don't know if I can support the author, but the book itself was good. The next book I picked up was the first book for Smutathon. I did a Smutathon vlog, so I'm not going to talk a whole bunch about these series, but the first book was Deviant. This is by Callie Hart. This is the first book in her Blood and Roses series. Uh, this was a new to me author and since then I have devoured her work. I love her so much. Uh, she is amazing and her books are amazing and you need to read them. This is a, um, it's not an MC romance. It is basically a whole bunch of bad guys. It's a very suspenseful storyline. Uh, it had my heart rate was just like going crazy throughout this. My anxiety was up. It's very, very suspenseful. It is about a girl who is trying to find her sister. Her sister was kidnapped and um, sold into slavery and she is doing everything she can. So she hires this private investigator. He turns out to be kind of a bad guy and he uh, says, hey, I've got all this information and he dangles information in front of her about her sister enough that she knows that it's real and um, He basically says, you know, you've got to sleep with this guy if you want this information So she ends up going to this hotel room and she sells herself for information on her sister and uh, She ends up having a really really good time. It's all done in the dark. This guy is extremely muscular and she ends up being a virgin and they end up getting it on and it's super super hot and the story goes on from there they don't see each other for a couple of years after this he has the guy knows everything about her though and it's their storyline he ends up being a mob boss's kid kind of and so basically it's like this super suspenseful plot line it's super complicated and intricate and everything's kind of weaved in together and there's multiple storylines kind of all adding up to one and it's done over six books and it's just it's super super well done i really highly enjoyed it it is bdsm it is dark romance and it is just super freaking hot there's a lot of belt action and tied up action in this and whew, zeth is an asshole hero that i just 
I got to know and I the more I knew from him from his story the more I loved him I'll talk a little bit more about that later the next book that I picked up is Bittersweet by Serena Bowen. This is kind of a wholesome read. It is a family-based relationship. It is kind of a second chance romance. It is a small town country boy who owns a orchard, a farm out in the middle of nowhere in, I think it's Vermont, and he has a whole bunch of acres and he is trying to build a cider business and he, it's a girl who is trying to purchase stuff for a big company who's trying to screw him over and it is their relationship. She actually had a relationship with him in college or she slept with him a couple of times and then she left and disappeared and he's always kind of thought about her and it is their romance, like I said, kind of a second chance, little low on steam. It was an okay read. I gave it four stars, lower end of four stars. It was sweet and, like I said, kind of wholesome and family-based and oriented. I'm going to continue on with the series, but it's not very smutty. doesn't have, like, a lot of what I would expect from Serena and Bowen. It's not very, uh, it doesn't have any sex in it, basically, almost at all. Uh, but it was really sweet and cute, and I enjoyed it. The next book that I read for Smutathon is theirs for the night this was by katie robert this was the group read and i adored this book it is about a girl who goes to the club i think it's her 25th birthday 22nd birthday. i don't know she's young she goes to the club uh her friend kind of talks her into it it is her birthday and there she automatically kind of catches eyes with one of the guys and his friend and they are looking for a girl to have some fun with for the night and they take their party back to their hotel and they have a threesome and it is steaming hot these are two alpha males who just so happen to be bisexual and they they all have a very very good time <laughs> i mean it's kind of it's straightforward it's super hot it's really really good i enjoyed it a lot uh this is a prequel there is actually two books to the series i don't know if this is a super spoiler alert i don't think so i think everybody's basically already said this but the guy ends up being a prince and it ends up being his bodyguard who is like the two guys so prince and a bodyguard and this girl and it's going to be their love story and i'm going to read the entire series very soon but i'm kind of devouring cali heart right now so i haven't had a time to read it yet but i definitely plan on picking this up in fact i plan on reading a lot more of katie robert because i loved her the way that she wrote i love her writing style it was flawless and beautiful and just super hot and yeah i just i thoroughly enjoyed that book Next book I picked up was Dare to Resist. This is by Laura Kay. I listened to this on audiobook. I do not recommend the audiobook. I kind of felt like my grandma was telling me this story. Uh, it was awkward and it really, really, really just made this book not work for me at all. Other than the fact that I didn't like the audiobook, this had to me some insta love in it it was a brother's best friend they had hooked up a couple of years before or almost hooked up it didn't go that far and he ended up basically telling her that it was a mistake they are both nerds and they are computer programmers and are trying to vie for the same job with the military and they end up getting stuck in a really bad storm and having to stay in a motel and her bed happens to be the last room and it is um soaking wet and there's water all over her bed so she ends up staying with him of course and uh they have this relationship and it was okay i didn't really connect with the characters i gave it three stars nothing really to speak highly of the next book I have to talk to you about is actually five books. So after I read Deviant and I read those other books, I, uh, during Smutathon, I decided that I really, really enjoyed Deviant so much that I wanted to pick up the next book in the series. And I did. I read the entire Blood and Roses series. It is a total of six books. Each book is between 100 and, I think 140 pages and 205 I think was the highest or 200 no maybe it went up to 250 but anyway they're they're fairly small read um books they're 
they're not I wouldn't really say that they're full novels they all end in cliffhangers so they're kind of a serial novel and so it was Fracture, Burn, Fallen, Twisted, and Collateral that I read. It all follows Zeth and Sloane as uh, Sloane is trying to find out what happened to her sister. Zeth, as I mentioned, is related to a mob boss. And he basically, he is a hitman. And he has been raised by this man since he was like four or five years old, since his mother and father were passed away in a car crash and what he believes his uncle was doing is he's a bad guy but he he believes that the only people he's killing are really really bad guys and for the most part they really are but what he doesn't realize is how bad his uncle truly is and he didn't realize that his uncle got into sex trafficking and whatnot so he is falling for Sloane but he's also helping her try to find out what happened to her sister and it's him and Sloane and then Michael who is Michael is kind of his assistant and his best friend Michael is kind of the lookout and the bodyguard for him and it's there th the three of them have a really close relationship and friendship also he has a sister named Lacey who's in this who plays a really big role and it is just their story and it follows along and it, you, it's a slow build-up of Zeth learning how to love learning how to uh, figure out his own mind and see what is really going on with his uncle and with all of these guys that are um, super bad and into trafficking and everything and it is just super suspenseful some of the things that they put themselves in and uh, it's just it's really really crazy it's kind of edge of your seat it's super dark romance it's BDSM I highly highly recommend the series I know I'm not doing a very good explanation of it but I just I highly suggest you read it. I don't want to give too much of it away. I really just think that it was so well done. Callie Hart is a new favorite author for me. All right, so after Smothathon, I um, continued on with Callie Hart, like I mentioned, and then I also picked up the audiobook for Wall Street Titan by Anna Zaras. This was the first book that I read by this author, and I, I'm a sucker for Billionaire Falls for Girl Next Door, kind of, you know, like, poor girl rich man type of storylines. I know it's super cliche and super ridiculous and never going to happen in real life. And especially like all of these like billionaire guys are all, you know, like six pack ads and gorgeous. And all of the billionaires you actually see on TV are like old white dudes who are just not attractive at all. So I know that this isn't going to happen in real life, but it's just total smut that I really enjoy for the most part. However, this one, I, uh, I gave it three stars. I didn't think it was that great. Um, I felt like there was a very super annoying heroine and I felt like there was a super self-centered hero. I didn't really feel their connection and yeah, it ended in a cliffhanger. So I really didn't like that. It was okay. I might go on to the second one. Like I said, it was a three star read, so it wasn't that bad, but it wasn't my favorite. The next book that I picked up and read was actually a part of my group read. Uh, this is going to be in my new book haul coming up, so shh, you didn't see this book. But it is Sick Fucks by Tilly Cole. Uh, this book, I, I'm leaving it unrated. I did finish it. Um, I did tab it, as you can kind of see. It's... I've never read anything like this, and I never will read anything like this ever again. Uh, there is some very, very, very disturbing things. Like, there's Dark, and then there's this book. Uh, it is... I don't want to spoil anything, but I also feel like there is a major plotline that's not really put in here that is major, major trigger warnings for some people. I don't really have any trigger warnings to speak of except for except for one and that is um, I don't really like to read books where the hero or the brother die in war uh, my own brother was killed in Iraq and so um, that's just something that I've lived it I don't want to relive it uh, so it's not really a trigger well it's kind of a trigger for me because I will break down and cry it's just something that like I said I've, I've already lived it so I really just don't want to relive it 
So, um, other than that, this book does have a major trigger warning in it, though, for some people, and that's going to be physical and sexual abuse of a child, uh, both boy and girl, and uh, very graphic, graphic scenes of that, and also very, very graphic scenes of death um, and killing, and so... This is kind of an Alice in Wonderland retelling, but it's like a relationship between Alice and the rabbit. And it's also kind of a Harley Quinn. It's like Alice in Wonderland meets Harley Quinn, if that makes any sense. Like, this book is just twisted and really, really fucked up. Uh, yeah. That's really all I can say about it. I'm leaving it unrated because, I, I mean, I... I devoured the book like I, I didn't want to stop reading it but at the same time I had to put it down a couple of times and go what the hell am I reading I, the, and also the the main character the heroine in this story is very childlike even as an adult so there was some very graphic sex scenes and it felt kind of awkward to me reading them because it wasn't sexy in the least to me it felt like I was reading about a child having sex sex like even even though she was an adult she was very very childlike and it kind of grossed me out I'm not gonna lie like it really it really grossed me out so the story was actually pretty good but if you're looking for a romance I I don't think this is it I don't I don't know how to categorize this I don't know how to rate it I just don't know I'm, I'm really conflicted on it the next book I picked up is Rebel by Callie Hart. This is a spinoff series of The Blood and Roses. I highly recommend that you read Blood and Roses first before you jump into Rebel. Rebel and Sophia is... So Sophia is Alexis. Alexis is the... Uh, is Sloane's sister from Blood and Roses, the one who was kidnapped. And so it kind of goes back after all six books, after you find out what happens to her, it goes back and kind of gives her, so her story. And it is a three-part series. So this is the first book. I've read the first book and I've read the second book, which is Rogue. And I love Rebel. He is the leader. He's an MC, a motorcycle club president. And he is just super hot like in the first book it, like in the first series though in blood and roses he's made out to be like this seriously bad dude like the worst of the worst like there's legends about this guy and then you read his story and you're like how in the world could there be legends because this dude is like soft and sweet and like adorableness so i'm still trying to figure out how he has such a, like, a legendary name and, like, a, even, like, the cartel and stuff, like, know this guy and, like, think he's bad news. So I'm still trying to figure out how he's gotten this name from how he acts in the book. It's a little confusing to me, but it's still really, really good. All of these stories are between four to five stars, every single one of them. And I just, I highly recommend Callie Hart. I cannot recommend her enough. Um, I just want more and more of this world and of the story. I want to know more about Michael. I want to know more about Sloan and Seth. I want to see them. I just, I just need more. I just need more. All right, so that's it for me. Those are her 15 books that I read from the 17th through the 30th. I read more than a book a day this month, and that's saying something because I didn't read any books for five days. So I really, really upped my reading game. I'm really proud of myself. Uh, what I'm currently reading now is Porn Star by Laura Lynn Page and Sierra Simone. I really loved Lingus, and so, um, and that was also a porn star read by Mariana Zapata. This book is like the complete opposite of it. It's not slow burn. It's between a couple of porn stars. It's definitely different. Um, I think I still like Lingus a little bit more, but I'm really enjoying the audiobook for this one. And then I'm reading Ransom, which is the third book in this series, and it's really good. So that is it for me. That's everything that I have read and am currently reading. 
and um, I'm gonna go make some soap and I'm going to let you guys watch me make some soap and so you will see some videos coming up very soon. I hope you guys had fun. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite book of the month was and uh, yeah we'll talk in the comments below. Have a good day.